Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, May 23rd. British police have arrested a 23 year old man in Manchester in connection with the attack at an Ariana Grande concert. It's not yet clear how he is allegedly connected. Police say a suicide bomber set off a device in the Manchester arena last night, killing 22 people and injuring dozens more. Grande was not hurt. And attorneys will continue with jury selection today in Pittsburgh for the sexual assault trial of Bill Cosby. He will go on trial in Montgomery County, but the jury is being picked from Allegheny County because of free trial publicity. Three men and two women were selected yesterday. The trial is scheduled for June 5th. And the historic battleship New Jersey is celebrating the 74th anniversary of her commission and the U.S. Navy. The battleship first served in World War II. Today's observance will include remarks from a veteran who served on the ship. The battleship is on the Camden waterfront and is open for tours every day. Now it's going to check on the forecast with meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, hopefully it's a little bit better than yesterday. It kind of depends where you are, what you're going to end up with here on this particular day, Rahel. We do have a system that's working its way north yet again that's going to help trigger additional showers, mainly toward nightfall. For now, you can just expect a lot of clouds overhead, limited sunshine. You'll see the most sun the further north and west that you travel. But uh, the showers are more prominent south and east. The daytime high hits 73. And I, again, don't think those showers are really going to mess with us too much until we're headed towards sunset. Later tonight, the watch for showers to be a bit more widespread through the overnight and early morning hours of tomorrow. And then we do start to clear back out for one brief break. By Thursday, a new system is here. On Friday and Saturday, we're in the mid or upper 70s with some pretty pleasant conditions all in all. And Sunday and Monday, certainly the warmest days of the pack, but they do feature the potential for some more showers. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning. Good morning.